How apt. We watched the video on that yesterday. It was great. All right. Okay. Today, once again, we're talking about mobile gaming because I, I started to see a bunch of false advertising on Don't YouTube you lately perpetrated voice? by a bevy of different game companies, and apparently nothing ever gets done about it. Actually, no, it's far worse than that. Apparently, the mobile game industry is determined to false advertise. There is a rotating trend of borderline falsified ads that are created deliberately to be as close to the line of flat out false. Well, yeah, because if you actually show them what the mobile game is about, then um, then nobody's going to play it. That's what happened with that stupid. I forget what the name of the game was that not bejeweled it was the one with the garden the gardenscapes one the gardenscapes people had to include they had to change their game because they were accused of false advertising and they didn't want to um what is it called like i guess get sued they changed the game so they could avoid lawsuits I started posting Reddit ads. Our game's enjoyment is proportional to how bad our ads are. I don't understand. Spent a stupid amount on Clash of Clans. So many Steam games missed. What? People spend money on that? No shot. I've never spent money on a mobile game. I maybe like once or twice, but it's been like five, ten dollars maybe. That's strong. They're promoting their games on Reddit knowing their ads are shit. Yeah. The skins though, it 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 it's a it's a mobile game, my guy. <laughs> mobile game. Ah! Advertising as possible, even when they don't actually need to do that. Ergo, mobile game companies are belligerently intentional about being as deceptive as possible to their customers, we even when deception. there is no legitimate reason. Most people who watch YouTube have probably seen some of those ads. There's a lot of them out there, but what people may not know is just how bizarre the system actually is. The Hero Wars Alliance ones are so bizarre because they always feature like a big titty girl at the end and the guy falls down and dies. And then I I've never played the game, but I've seen like gameplay trailers of the game itself. And it's never like the actual game, never. And I don't know how they get away with it. It's Let's so use an strange. Example. I'll start with something less egregious in order to demonstrate, but rest assured it gets worse from there. This is Hero Wars. According to their store page trailer, and according to the ads you see online plastered everywhere, it's a basic number matching puzzle game of sorts that effectively- Oh my god, I actually had a heart attack. I thought an ad just popped up in front of my face. I'm not gonna lie, I actually had a heart attack just now. I was like, what the fuck is that on my- Oh, it's part of the video. <laughs> Dude, this guy got me! I actually got scared! My heart stopped! I went in my throat, I was like, <gasps> an ad? Holy... It shows someone being really stupid my heart. and failing in order to make you think, wait, but I could do that, that seems fun and also pretty easy. With me so far? Yes? Okay, good. The game seems fine on the surface, but here's what the actual gameplay is. Okay. This is obviously very, very different and requires yeah. us to ask a simple question. Why is a high-profile mobile game, Hero Wars is currently sitting at 100 million downloads plus on the Google Play Store alone. Who the fuck plays this game? Who the fuck plays Raid Shadow Legends? Who the fuck plays any of these games? I just don't get it. <laughs> boomers? I don't think boomers play video games. My parents don't play video games. The only video game that my mom ever got addicted to, quote-unquote, is um the little bubble popping app on the ipad that's the only thing my mom liked to play and that that didn't cost a dime it was a free to play game or maybe she bought it for like three dollars children you think children enjoy this shit candy crush i guess my mom never played that shit people whose pc died even if my PC died, I wouldn't spend money on a mobile game. <laughs> I would save up for a new PC. Why is a very high profile mobile game, 
relying on what appears to be you false advertising. The answer to that is actually very interesting on an industry level, but the basic version is that it's no, not no, completely no, wait, wait, wait. false advertising. It's only mostly false. See, the ad itself doesn't show core gameplay, nor does the trailer. The actual content you will be playing and pay for is completely different, but the advertisements and the trailer showcase a mini game that actually does exist inside the main application. When you download Hero Wars, you get to play a couple of levels of this number puzzle game, but okay. pretty soon those levels are gone and all you have is the normal game. This leads to a pretty obvious downtrend in their customer reviews, which is very <laughs> obvious. Fun game, but repetitive. Also, it's free, but if you want progression, it does cost money. Recently raised overall prices on everything. Plus, they have added new features that are being paywalls. That cost $250 to unlock! Guys. I'm thinking we need to make, like, an Alana game. We need to make a Smugalana game. And 250 fucking dollars. Like, who here is a coder? Yeah, no, no, but not VTuber mobile game. You want to know why? I don't want to get into copyright uh, drama. I don't want to get into copyright drama. Yeah, Alana Idol waifu game. <laughs> I need someone to code. I need a marketing team. I need people to make heinous fucking poo poo gaga advertisements that have the gr the stupid plastic doll girls covered in fucking poop and shit. I'm serious, man. I can run the servers, but I don't know how to code for mobile. We'll find someone. I'm sure we can find someone. Merch! <laughs> Merch! I'm serious. How do you paywall something for $250, man? I'm so floored. I would avoid this game and not start playing. Everything's getting worse. Jesus, dude. First off, I really do enjoy this game and have been playing daily for almost four years. How the fuck do you do that? You are unable to en fully engage without spending large amounts of money. The recent price hike and the gaining of specific features behind payables requires spending close to $200. In order to unlock them is absurd and as a result of my decision I'm going to spend money, additional money on this game. It's actually obscene. These people are real. Who would fucking fake reviews like this? Zach Richardson and Mitchell Harper. You can make the latest mobile game and have your companies they've forgotten while still making bank while the game is on. Yeah, it's it's really sad. Also, getting an Apple Store certification is a bitch, so we'd have to do Android only, maybe Steam too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're thinking ahead, huh? Ooh. We introduced a gotcha system for outfits, but you need to pay to unlock wardrobe slots. And, uh, uh, like, you have to get all the waifus are all different, like, outfits of Alana. Like, there's Gopnik Alana, and, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Japanese Kimono Alana, like, um, uh, Wild Alana, Feral Alana, Cat Alana, I don't know, Dog Alana, Beach Alana. Beach Alana is, like, the Platinum Tier Edition. That one is, like, super mega duper rare, and you have to spend $1,000 minimum. Minimum! $1,000! Naked is $9,999. No, man, you can't put naked shit on fucking the App Store. Don't be fucking stupid. Male Lana? I mean, you know, track the gay audience? Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Not gonna lie, I would not pay. I don't care. There would be like five other people that would pay for you. Fuda Alana. Femboy Alana. You guys need to chill out. I said gender benders, fine, but don't fucking put the whole Fuda in there. <laughs> An Alana that I would actually watch. A boy Lana? I'm insulted. This on the Play Store and wherever I'm else you can insulted. download it. But it's a calculated loss for them because they succeeded in getting a bunch of downloads, which ultimately yeah. converts into paying users. At least some of them do. That's a really tame example of the phenomenon. So how about we step it up a notch? This is X Hero Save Animals from Dinosaur Games. This one is. What the fuck is this? Level 31. What do you do? Do you unscrew shit? That's all you do? You unscrew shit? 
Bro, get a job. You don't have to spend money to do this. Go unscrew some shit. Isn't nearly as popular. Only has about a million downloads. Only a million. That's actually still pretty high. But the entire Only game, according to the icon, the in-store advertisements, and gameplay screenshots, appears to be a puzzle. Remove okay. screws, detach boards, etc., etc. Once again, those elements exist in the most minimal capacity possible, but after a couple of levels, it turns into something completely different. I don't have gameplay for this one, but we can just scroll down and read the actual description. Oh, Quote, I AFK and idol I love system. It. Set your superheroes training while you're away. They will be more powerful. Gain new stuff. What, what have superheroes got to do with fucking unscrewing shit? Wait, 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 wait. Most popular idol RPG, mass adventure online now, secure victory of the galaxy. Look at Titan War Game. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Skills when you get it's back. It's the same The battle game, will never yeah. stop even when you log off. But it's by a different quote. company. Yeah, it's one of those idol combat games which blew up. I don't know, maybe a few years ago, and took over the mobile space. Here's another example from the same company. Epic Heroes Save Animals, with that Wait, same tagline. What? Save Animals, yet again. What? Yo, this is kind of blowing my mind, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? Again, this one is also Dinosaur Games, obviously, and has 10 million downloads on Android this time. The same company. But it's exactly the same thing. Customer reviews obviously reflect that, the description does as well. And it's another bait and switch offering that another game with false advertisements is just a money trap i just wanted to play the screw puzzle but is blocked by this weird card like battle game and none of that is shown in the ads overly long tutorial at the beginning you progress for the battle part plenty of taps to open the google play pay option though bro what the Contains actual fuck maybe five minutes of the advertised gameplay before becoming something else entirely Here's another one, this time from Glacier's Entertainment. 100,000 downloads, basically the exact same. So what do they do? Do they just buy out old games and then replace them with the screw shit? Is that what they're doing? They're buying games from like seven years ago when they used to be popular and then they change the game? Yeah, it looks like it. This is kind of fascinating. I didn't even know about this. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of shit about these stupid mobile games, but... It's probably the same company. Yeah, probably like different aliases for the same company. <laughs> same advertising technique, but it's not a puzzle a game. Puzzle it's game? something to do Ooh, with hero summoning. With blatant but false you can never unlock a I could go on and on and on and on, but you probably get the point. This is where it gets interesting. Obviously, the industry has a decisive trend, but why? Why is it normal to create a tiny snippet of a mini game and then just transparently bait? And wait, wait, go back. Can't even play the game because it keeps crashing. It either crashes upon startup or after five to six rounds. Either way, the game is unplayable. I didn't get a single ad for the short amount of time I played, so I guess it's a win. Hold on, hold on. Can you create a bug loop so that people think their game crashes? So that you can avoid giving them the game that they think they're going to get? Yes? Like, on purpose. Yo, you're kind of sneaky over here, huh? A little sneaky little crash. Every time you get close to Alana, you crash! It's like heroin. You inject heroin the first time and you get that one Alana. The first one you get is free, right? And then you're chasing the dragon forever after that. And you never get to the Alana. But you crash over and over. Obviously, as soon as you get close, you crash and it stops. You can have a kill up command when you hit a certain point and most people think the app crashed. Yeah, but is that legal? Like, if someone finds that out? Like, is there not a way to do that naturally, more organically? <laughs> I'm trying to say, like... Not really? Really? You don't think we could make a bug that like crashes the game, but like make it look like it's actually part of the game? Yeah. Scam Lana? Yeah. Little scum eyes. There's a way. I'm sure there is a way. Like you find a bug and then keep it in the game. Yeah, it's just a programming bug. It'll be fixed. And then you never fix it. Exactly. And then it keeps crashing. 
It would be weird, but you could actually intentionally make could make a bug. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But why? Mm. Why is it normal to create a tiny snippet of a mini game and then just transparently bait and switch Crashing the advertising the with enormous purpose. amounts of money? When I say enormous amounts of money, I mean it. According to a report by Apps Flyer, God, gaming application so ad spend it's has insane. reached nearly twenty-seven billion dollars in twenty twenty-three alone. Accounting for rapid growth rate, it's on track to reach absurd figures in subsequent years. And one of the core foundational elements of all of it is fall. I'll tell you another thing. Dead by Daylight on mobile has more cosmetics and prettier accessories and has a better uh, loadout feature than Dead by Daylight on PC. Because it makes more money than Dead by Daylight on PC. Like, think about it. Like, Dead by Daylight Mobile didn't come out until, like, what? Like, 2021 or 2022? And they still, li like, put more effort into the game than... Doesn't it also play like ass on mobile, though? No, it actually doesn't. They updated the game because it played like ass, and they had a huge fucking update that they pushed really hard, and now it actually plays pretty decently. I've actually tried it. It doesn't play like ass at all. It used to, and that's why people are complaining about it. And now that they realize it's really profitable and they make a shit ton of money through Gamba and skins, now I think it's like more popular than the PC version, or at least it makes more money. It might not be as popular. There's a DVD mobile version? Yes. Go look it up. False advertising. It why? is super gotcha. The explanation for that is actually really simple, yet simultaneously kind of depressing. Billion, mobile games have discovered a new formula. See, oh, for most video games, I'm talking traditional AAA insane. franchise offerings or even indie PC dollars. titles from small studios. My for most CT. video games, the advertising formula works like this. Create a product, advertise the product, and target customers who might be interested in what the product actually is. Now, to be clear, this can absolutely involve deceptive practices. Uh -huh. Think back to something like Anthem or The Division and how those games were portrayed at the likes of E3. Those were particularly egregious examples, but you yeah. get the point. The basic foundation still exists where the product you make yeah, has to this be was not. This was not uh, like in the game, I'm pretty sure. This whole advertisement that they had for The Division 2, and then it turns out it, they didn't even have half the features on it. And this was back in like 2015 or 16 for what it is rather than something completely different you can't make yeah, a third person looter shooter cheeks. just as an example and then play footage of the sims to get customers it just it wouldn't work however in mobile gaming for some reason there's no easy way to say this yeah, it, it does actually advertising See, almost instead of the normal system where you create something and then market that thing to people who might like it for what it is Mobile games have shifted to a completely new structure, basically on an industry-wide level, gotcha, gotcha, where they gotcha, create gotcha, something, gotcha. then create a sliver, a tiny sliver of something else, and then market that something else to the stupidest people they can find. What happens? <laughs> well, most people realize it's fake and move on, but some of them get sucked in with addictive practices, flashy oh dopamine God. hits, and predatory monetization, thereby- 300,000 downloads in a month, man. That's fucking insane, bro. What the actual fuck? One million dollars in revenue! Can you see that? Oh, this makes my brain hurt. Why do I even stream? <laughs> I just release a shitty fucking game! Feeding money back into the system and perpetuating a cycle where the mobile market no longer makes games and markets them to customers. It's Joel, Instead, man. they make a fragmented mini game inside a vehicle product and market that. It's actually legitimately an industry-wide trend, man? and I can show you precisely why. Remember that weird tagline, save animals? Yeah, that was for X Hero and Epic Heroes by Dinosaur Games. Uh -huh. but what you'll find is that the tagline save animals is from an entirely different set of fake ads, where you would draw this little thing around a doge icon and save it from a bunch of bees doge! who were gonna sting it. It had wacky music and it was everywhere for a while. I because the fake Doge. advertisements are an industry-wide trend. Doge. Want proof? This is Hero Clash from Glacier's Game, oh which is God. still using that same fake ad campaign Doge. that a different company was using before them based on a sliver minigame. This is what the actual game looks like, but as I said, the point here Terrible isn't to make something reviews, creative yeah. and find the right audience who might be interested. The goal is to make something as predatory as possible and then find the dumbest people you can and serve them ads for a splinter fragment of a game that you made purely so you could deliberately false advertise. 
The interesting thing is that what? one of the industry's biggest culprits here, Playrix, actually had a ruling against them by the ASA. The advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one I'm talking about. They actually had to change the game because it wasn't in the game, so they went ahead and just changed it instead of deleting the game. Standards Authority in the UK. It yeah. wasn't a big decision, mind you, but I think like seven people submitted complaints and the ads got struck down because they were beyond the pale and showcased gameplay that was only playable 10 times maybe ever in a game with nearly 6,000 levels. In response, Playrix just increased the number of playable levels for the minigame slightly and moved them closer to the beginning of the game. But this perfectly demonstrates my point. Yeah, Mobile because the people who are already fucking like 5,000 levels deep don't give a fuck. They're already sucked in. They're little pay piggies. And they don't care. It's the first like thousand levels or whatever that you have to like convince them like, oh yeah, we just have these little mini games that we false ad falsely advertise in the middle of it. Mobile game developers are intentionally misleading their audience. Mm -hmm. They know what the audience wants to play, but deliberately refuse to actually make that product, only making enough of it so that their ad campaigns won't be suspended from the Play Store. They then trick their audience into engaging with that game because odds are some of these idiots will ultimately spend money and they can pursue a brand new technique where they just make a central payment funnel of sorts and then conjure up a rotating set of addictive advertisements mm -hmm. for a product that basically doesn't exist in order to populate the central payment funnel. Most of the biggest names in the entire industry now do this. Top War, Gardenscapes, Puzzles and Survival, yep. and some offenders are more egregious Top than others. War. Dude, I, have you guys seen these ones? They take the same thing with the... Oh my god, man. Um... The one where you're like eating burgers and it's that lady running and her ass gets bigger and bigger. It's literally like the same thing almost, except this with like little guys shooting guns. Obviously, but the hilarious thing is that these ads end Puzzles up spreading survival. like a disease. By, by the way, I got an advertisement uh, offer, a sponsorship for f Puzzles and Survival, by the way. I can't believe that they give people money for this and like, I don't know. But... <laughs> Like, I understand getting your bag, but again, like, at least have some, like, a little bit of, a tiny little bit of integrity. End up spreading like a disease across the industry. Evidence being something like the save animals trend, where other companies were picking Guessing it up. Guessing you didn't take them. it wasn't them that came up yes, with it. It had nothing not. to do with no. their game. One company finds a thing that works, and suddenly half of the top downloaded apps in the Play Store are all save the doge games, which only have five levels of that puzzle system. Wait, the down... Monthly revenue passed 30 million for the first time in April 2022. It's clear 40 million. Bro. The downloads aren't even going up, but the revenue's going up. What's going on here? What is going on? Explain this. Explain how this isn't going up, but then the revenue's going up. and then becomes something entirely different. The, the crazy industry, thing bro. is that this probably won't change. One of the most successful examples of this practice in the past couple of years, at least, is called Royal Match. And the figures Royal that we Match. see publicly are astronomical. The thing is, all those ads where you save the king, yeah, that content doesn't exist in the game. And yes, it's not nearly as bad as some of the other culprits out there in the industry, but it's a central pillar behind why the mobile game industry is actually built on deception now. And no one does anything about it. The deception works. In order for agencies like the FTC to seriously consider action, there has to be harm to customers, but the sneaky formula that mobile developers have pioneered what is, is one it? where the app itself is free and the gameplay technically... <laughs> Yo, what? So because it's free, it's okay to lie? Oh, man. That's... That's so cooked, man. <laughs> Hi, Pine Turtle! Hello! They're not lying! Yeah, they're not lying! It's free to play. There's the game in the app! Yeah, that's right. It's There's the game. It's just five levels every 5,000 levels. You're right. It does exist in the application, so where's the harm? Any reasonable viewer bark, bark, won't bark, be harmed, bark, right? Bark, 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 they will bark. see and uninstall, and there's disclosures, so who cares? But these companies aren't targeting the reasonable customers. They are targeting the people with addictive personalities who get easily sucked in from a deceptive ad to a predatory product. What's mm -hmm. truly insane when you think about it, like big picture, is that the mobile game industry has basically evolved from being product driven 
to purely advertising. You I can't. I, I'm going through the loop again of like how much I don't like how how money driven every single business ends up being. <sighs> like back in the day, like yeah, there were scam apps like on your iPhone and stuff. Like I remember looking at those when I was being like when I was a little kid at school. But it wasn't nearly as bad as it is now. Like it's it's everything. It's fucking video games on PC, on console, on mobile. I'm so tired, man. <laughs> I'm tired, Grandpa. I'm tired, man. Uh, corporate, baby. Path of least resistance. Makes you appreciate honest companies more, not gonna lie. It makes me wanna fucking... Never mind, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Apple and Google play a lot of shit, but no booba. Yeah, because it makes some money. Duh. There's only seven people. There's only seven people. Uh, that complained about the lawsuit against Playrix. Seven people sued out of a million fucking trillion downloads. Slimy so people realize how much money they can squeeze out of dumb kids with the gambling addicts. I know, but it's like the, the my, my whole crux of the issue is you take something that is so pure, so innocent, a fucking video game where we used to play on fucking Ataris and all that fucking old shit. And now it's just like, it, it is like literally diarrhea and slop you have to wade through to get to an actual fucking game. In-game people? Nah, 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 no. No, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't gonna say that. I, I'm just ranting. It, it's just tiring. I don't know, after stream I kind of just... I, 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 I turn off my stream sometimes and I'm like, oh, I could play a video game right now. And I'm like, I've already played all the good video games, though. I have to play them again, you know? Basically, anything that's related to art, so with movies and music, really? Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Everything is just... Everything is just so, I don't know corporatized everything is like about money any ideas that'll make it better <sighs> let nerds make video games let artists be artists let uh stop fucking focusing on profit margins and like i don't know it's it's, it's all a bunch of shit man i'm getting on my phone Doomer soapbox, man. <laughs> Alana could play Lethal Company off stream with me and Tammy, but she won't. No, nah, man, I'm I'm fucking just I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted after stream. I don't I don't play anything after stream usually. Let the booba be free. Booba fuba. Mm -mm -mm. That's honestly why any games have been doing so well. Yeah, but they still get, like, outshone in every way, almost, by Corpa games. Every good game is made by people who are passionate about the product. Yeah, and that's what used to be common in back in the day. I'm not playing Siege with anyone. I would rather fucking eat a shoe. I will boil a shoe live on stream than play Siege. It's a dog shit game. It's for fucking stinky assholes who love shooters. I'm not playing Siege! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sure it's a fine game. I, I, I don't care. I just, I'm not into shooters. You don't have to make new <laughs> games in order to get downloads. You just have to make yeah, mini games inside and then advertise those. Cut costs on the dev side, increase profit, reroute the money back into more and more addictive or deceptive ads, and new stabs at an addictive mini game, right? A Ooh. sliver product inside the main product, and go until you find a hit. Rinse, repeat. If you get yeah. caught, just up the amount of levels that you allow players to experience the mini game that you got caught for. And that's why those disgusting advertisements for mobile games where there's literally like poop and fart jokes and like people sniffing feet and shit. That's what gets people 
who are low IQ to download and the people who are above average or middle intelligence uh, go and click on it just to see what the fuck it's about, but it's not actually in the game and it's just there to bait you. And they're like, oh my god, fetishism in my video game, yes! I want to sniff farts! Yeah, sniffing farts and drinking armpit piss, dude, that fucking ad was insane. And then the fucking racist ad, too, that was actually beyond obscene. I can't believe that's real. <laughs> I almost downloaded the racist game. See, see, it works! It worked! You downloaded it because you're fucking like, what the fuck? What was it called? Emperor... Emperor Souls or some shit? What is that? What was that game called? Emperor of... Souls? Emperor some... And some bullshit? Yeah, I... I don't know, some dumb game, game name. <laughs> I've never saw that ad. We watched a video yesterday, it showed, um... A bunch of mobile ads, and some of them were brutal. Like, violent for a kid's game. The other one was about drinking armpit piss. And another one was a woman that was watching two uh, other women uh, with a stinky butt sniffing farts. I genuinely wish I was making this up. It's, like, actually real. Like, go back and look at it in the VOD. I'll probably post it on YouTube at some point, but it was a Meat Canyon video. Our poop piss, yes. They were insanely weird. And the, to top it off, the very last one was a really, really racist um, game with like, like, it was like a Chinese history game. And it was extremely racist. Yeah. It was Emperors and Beauties. Yes, that's what it was called. Go look it up. It's real. Chinese princess. Yeah, it was like a False historical and keep Chinese going game because or the system shit. works and it showcases Themed. perfectly how far the mobile game industry has fallen. Sure, it could have been cool, maybe in some alternate version of reality, but in the world today, mobile games have become some of the most deliberately deceptive products yeah, in the entire the software year, market. For sure, the for trend sure. is only getting worse. Hilariously, there's a hefty amount of high value fines that could theoretically be handed out by regulatory agencies if they wanted to put in the legwork. These companies have no shortage of cash on hand, right? They're just like a pinata waiting to be whacked, and they deliberately skirt the line as close as human. What would you guys do with that amount of money? I would buy a fucking house, man. Do these people just shit out money and they don't know what to do with it, so they just fucking throw shit at the wall and hope it sticks? Hookers and PCB? Found a base, did you? Buy a horror house and retire. Yeah, me too, man. I would buy a fucking VR headset. I start doing fucking VR chat streams, like meetups. That'd be fucking sick. I'd get another dog. i get a place with like a garden outside. Like, I don't know what the fuck are these people doing? Why do you need that much money? Just retire. Stop. If you don't know what to do with your money, hit me up. Pretty possible with like every single campaign, which means there are probably quite a few publishers that could be slapped with a penalty, a big one, especially considering the sheer volume of ad spending that they throw at platforms like YouTube. But sadly, that doesn't seem to be happening. And it also seems like the lack of immediate financial consequences for end users on a basic installation makes the FTC hesitant to get involved because they don't really have a really strong framework. Uh, Regardless, it seemed like a good topic pussies. to discuss and I wanted to make a video because I've been seeing these ads everywhere lately and clearly a lot of people are frustrated i mean there's even like a change.org petition and obviously that's stop false game mobile game advertising we went from angry birds and temple run bro wasn't angry birds and temple run free man oh yeah discord's taking a dump right now huh yeah you guys are right huh Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. That's insane. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Going this nowhere, but taking a fat shit. Man, people have seen this and they're frustrated with it. With good reason. Anyway, that's it. If you want to support the channel, there are yeah. links down below. Primarily locals, Patreon, channel memberships. Anyway. Much better than AdSense, by the way. 
as well as some other stuff, cybersecurity product affiliate list, merchandise, etc., etc. But Angry Birds Star is a paid game, right? Uh, I don't think so, actually. Mommy, piss, 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 shit, piss, 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 fuck, 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 fuck,